Welcome back, Hocaholics. Uh, as the title and the thumbnail shows, this is a bonus episode. So, uh, basically, I just got finished um, finishing up my Mystery Tackle Box Elite Unboxing. It came in a bigger box because I had some add-ons to go with my delivery this month. Uh, again, I, I waited to post this until after another YouTuber had done his, just to make sure there was no uh, discrepancies in either one of our evaluations. And uh, I wanted to touch on a subject... Um, that nobody else is talking about. And it's on one of the brand new baits. So Yanko has their trap line rip knocker. Now, if you know the original rip knocker, it's like a one knocker fish bait. This came in my MTB uh, today. So what I wanna touch on is something very valuable, which nobody else tells you, but I'm gonna, because I've been through this before. Uh, this is something that I've never had to deal with, again, in my video, I said, I've never had a hard, hard bait one knocker. So this Yanko Rip Knocker trap line version, the trap line rip knocker, okay, it is, um, it's a heavy bait. It comes in at, in my little what's in the box card, uh, this is an $8.99 bait for Shop Carl's. Awesome idea. But what I want to tell you is a quite simple fact. So we'll use this little ice fishing rod here and my light line because it's handy dandy. So the way this works is like any other typical line through bait. All right. You run your line through the top end of your bait, down through the belly. I know this is, this is breathtaking, thrilling commentary. So you're, it's, you know, it helps. It helps if the actual line isn't such a light line that it doesn't freaking want to go. But you run this down through the, the, the center line of your bait, and I'm going to have to use an actual fishing rod with not crappy line. Let me, uh, let me tear into some braid. Why the hell not? <laughs> braid. A lot easier to deal with. All right. And you tie this onto your treble hook. And the whole point of this is that it removes the weight of the lure from the fish's mouth so he can't use that as leverage to break the hook out of his mouth. What I want to tell you is going to save you $8.99, maybe many times over. So, uh, of course, they have to put it in a plastic Ziploc bag instead of just putting it in something hard plastic it's not going to get all caught up in. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, this is like realistic fishing. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So, it comes with this treble hook, and typically you would take your main line, you'd run it through the top of your bait, and down through the rip knocker and tie off your main line to this split ring and voila you've got yourself a line through swim bait but under the effects that you're in a snaggy area what happens if you snag your treble hook fishing this along snags on a tree limb snags on a rock and it snaps there goes your rip knocker so a simple solution before anybody goes out there and fishes this. Before you tie on your treble hook, go into your worm bag. Grab yourself a set of rubber, you know, uh, the, the uh, bobber stoppers. Real bloody simple. Run your line. Probably, a, you know, a nice 15-pound fluorocarbon is probably better for this than braid, but whatever your perfect preference is. After you've run your main line through your rip knocker, take your bobber stop. Run a bobber stop. Only takes one. Run a bobber stop onto that main line. Run that bobber stop up a little bit. Then tie your hook on. Not into the sofa. Obviously, I'm not fishing this, so I'm just going to make a standard little line because I'm just... I'm going to take this right back off. I don't want to knot it on permanently. Take your bobber stop. 
run the bobber stop down to your knot on your hook, cut off your tag end. And there is, right now, your lipless line through bait. Only difference, now that hook comes off. You've left this behind. Treble hook, a couple of pennies, right? You know what that bobber stop does? That bobber stop allows you to bring that rip knocker right back to the surface. You're out the treble hook. Everybody's got treble hooks in their in their sack to back themselves up. Treble hooks bend out. You got to replace them on the you know on the boat in the field. That little ten cents of friggin' rubber there, a couple pennies of rubber, is going to save you from losing eight dollars and ninety nine cents in a lipless hard crankbait. All you got to do before you tie on your treble hook, pop on a bobber stop. It'll allow you to bring this back to the boat. Run your bobber stop back up the line a little bit, cut off, retie a new treble, run that bobber stop back down to the treble hook where your line tie is, cast out and catch your next big bass. So uh, that's what I'm here for. The reason I try not to have people BS and steal my commentary is because I'm here to help people save money and use what's up here and what my experience has been to give you guys information like this. I purposely set this aside from the main video again because I don't know if he's gonna wanna watch this one as well as my other one. Uh, but uh, it's something that I knew to put into the video. So if you guys get this in your MTB pack, do this and save yourself money. Worst case scenario, you lose a treble hook. Why, why worry about losing a single treble or worry about losing the entire bait, especially if you're not going back to Shop Carl's to spend another $8.99, all right? Bobber stop, saves you money. As always, from me to you, I hope this saves some cash. If you like this hack, if you like this information, like, subscribe, and share my channel uh, to all your friends. Share it out on social media, hashtag hookaholics where you want to, and we as a family will grow and we'll get stronger and stronger. I'm not here to BS. I'm not here to do a whole bunch of flash and flare. I don't do edits. I don't do drone photos. I don't do a whole bunch of musical montages. I don't go out and do stupid gimmicky crap like the worst uh, rod and reel at Walmart. Come on, man. You're better than that. Um, I'm here to help. Not to get money. Not to make some big ego play at social media. I don't give a crap. I'm me. That's the end. So, uh... For those that I do respect, uh, the you know, even as cocky as some of them have gotten, there are a few YouTubers that I really do respect because they do keep it honest, and I'm going to be one of those that do keep it honest. I might not get as cocky, or maybe I'll get inflated ego. I don't, <laughs> I don't know yet. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, this is me to you. Peace, tight lines, save money. I'll catch you on the next cast. Bye, Hocaholics.